I'd like to show you the user interface for the Arnia Hive monitoring system. Basically, the system comprises of separate Hive monitors that live on each Hive. Each one of those Hive monitors reports back to a monitor gateway unit, which collects all this data and sends it back to the um, user interface. So each of these Hives are being monitored. There's actually six Hives in total. You can tell there's more because of this little corner sticking out here, also this line along the bottom. I can click and swipe them from side to side or just swipe them with my finger on a tablet or iPhone. Each of these icons shows one of the sensors on the hive monitor itself. So this hive in this hive, this is the brood temperature of the hive, the humidity within the hive, the temperature of the hive monitor itself, and this is for the acoustics inside the hive. Underneath we see the battery condition of that monitor and the signal strength of that monitor. These monitors aren't logging in at the moment, so they don't have any signal strength. Underneath you can put a nickname to better identify to yourself which hive is which. Above each of the hives are these activity bees. These show how active each hive is. Again, these are all set to their lowest activity levels. Up here, we have the weather bar, which tells us the conditions at the April today, and yesterday and the day before for a week in the past. They show the maximum and the minimum temperature during each day. It's slightly incomplete at the moment, again, because uh, the data is not really new. You also find the battery and the signal strength of your gateway unit. To click on the settings, this takes us to the settings where we can see various settings, the user details, the um, monitors that we have, when they last logged in, when they're next going to log in. We can change various graph settings. Um, we can say uh, which lines appear on the graph when we click the bees. We can say how far back the, the, the data ranges. We can change the appearance, we can have buzzing bees or bees as an icon depending on your taste for how busy your bees are. Also there's various different backgrounds, there's a default background, the allotment background, the alpine background depending where your bees are, whichever suits you most, or log out which you won't do at the moment. Go back to there. If you want to, uh, this gives a, the hive view gives a great instantaneous look at what's happening to your hives if you'd like to see the data in more detail. You can go to the graph page. You do that by simply clicking on one of the icons. So if I click on this, it will give me the brood temperature of that hive over time. Here we are. There's that hive. That's what I clicked. And you can see a relatively stable brood temperature, as one would expect. If I click on this red icon, I can compare the hive temperature with the brood temperature. So by clicking that, we can see what the, the, the monitor temperature was compared to the Hive temperature is far more erratic because this monitor was actually fitted to the front of a hive. So you can see it getting hot, cold, hot, cold as you go night, day, night, day over what looks to be like about a, a three-month period. Not only can you compare two sensors from the same hive on the same graph, you could actually bring in any sensor from any other hive. So let's have a look at the monitor temperature from this hive. As you would expect, it looks roughly the same for most of the time. It's both a lot more erratic than the brood temperature, of course. But this week here seems to be a little bit different. We can look at that more closely. That's this week down here. So we can use this zoom bar to slide in and look at that week only. Okay, so you can see that this hive was getting much hotter, 45 degrees. That was only getting up to 30 degrees. So why is that? I hear you wonder. Well, it's because the monitors were mounted above the entrance of the doors. And simply, this hive was in the sunshine and this hive was in the shade. So this monitor got a lot hotter. That's not the air temperature, of course. You could check that by looking at the monitor. Gateways, ambient temperature results. But as it's a black box and the sun was shining on, it got very hot. Once you've selected this week period, you can take this week and look at any week in question. Some people set this to over a day, to look at the activity over a day, and they can slide side to side to have a better look at that. If you'd like to download the data, you can just click on the download icon, select which monitor, what sort of data you'd like. That will give you a, a, a CSV output, which you can open in Excel or alike. When you've finished uh, looking at your data on the graph, you can simply return to your high view, which takes you back to where you started.